welcome everybody. We are coming back and I guess I get a plane on this. So yeah, um, as you may have noticed, I was on Twitch earlier today and this is, I don't know what I guess, this is the second half of that grand experiment and whatnot. What we are doing here is the Dornberger Ultra Plane. So you may or may not know of Walter Dornberger, who was the he was basically the guy that recruited Werner von Braun. So he was also in the, you know, German military and all that stuff. And he had after coming to America, he started to promote this idea for a while called Ultra Planes. He wanted to basically have a two-stage aircraft which would carry, you know, very rich passengers all over the world. Uh, at very, very high speeds. So I'm just trying to build out a plane which sort of resembles this. And that may take me some time, but I will do it eventually. Mark my word. Oh, what the? Why is that? Ooh, wow. Isn't that looking gorgeous? Okay, now we're ready. 100%. There we go. Excellent. Starting to really shift down the hall, down the runway. Pull back. Let's try reaction control. Oh yeah, look! Totally get into the air here with this. But that is actually not what this is all about. Well, actually, so the idea is, this is a passenger aircraft. Let me just show you here. Look, we have a crew. Well, let's turn the cabin lights on. Cabin lights. Cockpit lights. Yeah, that's good. I think this flies a lot better than I, it was. So I'm gonna just, uh, move this into a landing position so we can land it. It's so ultra! Yeah, look, it's pulling like a 5G turn now. I think this is way better than what I had. It is a kind of a missile with wings. Because, you know, that's what Dornberger knew all about. He had the idea that people would travel from one continent to another in rocket planes. And you know what? I like that idea. Even though it came from, you know, Nazi and all that. Okay, I'm just going to leave a bit of fuel behind just in case I need to toga. Well, here's the thing, right? This is not the main thing. This is actually the second stage. The main stage is going to have a booster. In fact, this thing has more Delta V than it's supposed to. This thing is supposed to do a skip glide, right? Rather like Eugene Sanger's uh, um, antipodal bomber. Yeah, you can't do a toga on a, when you're gliding. Okay, now I'm gonna try and touch it down gently. Okay, mostly there. Mostly, mostly, mostly. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, the undercarriage placement needs a bit of work. I think we're ready to give this a go. I'm going to just try taking off from the runway. Even although the actual design that Dornberger said was would launch vertically. Well, let's see if it... Uh-oh. Apparently I broke something from overstressing. But hey, I lifted off. <laughs> I like this. 
I, in fact, I am going to actually overstress the vehicle at this rate. This is what happens when you have two Gs of acceleration. And this thing has way more fuel than we actually need, so let's actually wait until the Apple Apps is up around, like, 30, right? So that will be the, the rule where we define uh, that we want to perform a turnaround. It's there. Oh. Okay, now what we're going to do here is ditch this, yes, and then fire up the engines, yeah! It's going to do its own thing. We can just leave that there. Meanwhile, we'll switch back to this. Oh, where's it? it where's his friend? Has it already gone beyond his dis his limit? Oh, there's no crew in here. That's the problem. Oh well. <laughs> I should have probably put a crew in that thing since it was supposed to return. Boy, that is a darn pretty looking screenshot, if I do say so myself. Let's let's hide the uh, vessel in where's the, hide it. Hide it quickly. Hide. No, 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 close the editor! Damn it! Close it! I just hide engineer, that's what I wanted. Ah, there we go. Now I can safely appreciate this screenshot. So, vertical stay. Oh, the Apple Apps is only 100 kilometers. That's pretty good. Yeah, we have uh, reaction control thrusters and everything on this. I think this is pretty good for, like, a, a you know, Dornberger style, you know, what do you call it? Travel thing. You think this is the most expensive Londar? I think this is going to fly really nicely. Okay, we're going to get up to, like... Uh, 92, that's good, and then we're going to fire the engines just for a few seconds here. Push us a little further. Okay, I like, what's it look like? Oh, what's that beep? Tetragon, can we push buttons here? Oh, I don't think I've turned this on. No, I probably need to install, oh! We get something there. I think I need to install stuff. Oh, wait, that's what i got to do. Ah, there, flight controls, left and left. Oh, yeah, wait, we're re-entering. I should probably, like, take a look at what's going on here. So, yeah, look, my vertical speed is actually decreasing, which is a good sign. We want our vertical speed to decrease, and then for this thing to bring us back out of the atmosphere, at least temporarily, so we can actually get a little further. So yeah, the, the antipodal bomber, I did that a while back in base Kerbal Space Program. This is... And, and uh, I'll also say that the Dornberger ultraplane concept borrowed heavily from Eugene Sanger's antipodal bomber. The idea with the antipodal bomber was that it could, you know, get rocket boosted across the Atlantic, and then as it was flying over the US, it could drop some bombs, and then skip off back into space and keep going and maybe land, you know, in Japan or something like this. Okay, we're gonna skip back into space here. Well, maybe not back into space, but we're certainly gonna get some altitude on this. Nose coming up. The drink is not your father's ginger ale. The outer control surfaces are not doing anything. These are for roll control only. That's why they are not doing anything right now. Those are what we call ailerons. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! That is interesting. Roll. Un that is not intended, I assure you. So, I think that shimmy is actually due to due to the yaw there. And anyway, we look weird. Our Apple Apps is rising. Uh, we're only getting like 100 meters up. Still, that might get us a little further. I know, it's just going to carry us... Oh, actually, it might carry us into the water. 
Hopefully I can glide to here. I think that's that'll be my goal. I haven't been to the Bell Hiller Museum in Oakland yet, but were they the ones that wanted to build a helicopter the size of a football field to catch the discarded first stages from a Saturn V? Because that also struck me as a rather audacious concept. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I have to say, yeah, if the Nazis had, like, not been, you know, ass, you know, a-holes and they hadn't decided to, you know, commit genocide and just stuck to building rocket planes and cool stuff like that, I would, it would be a different world. Could you imagine it? Like, everyone would be thinking the Nazis were awesome, but no, they had to go and ruin it with their whole, like, you know, notion of the Third Reich and, you know, blaming totally innocent people on all their problems as a way to get political power. This is flying surprisingly well. Okay, let's let's put those brakes on. I think I can see a seam in the landscape. Hopefully it won't explode when I touch it. Hey, that's pretty good! I think that's pretty good, right? Let's let's see just how far I came. So actually, yeah, this must be where we were because uh, we just had sunrise. So look, there's there's the starting position here, right here, sidewinder probe, and we flew all the way around to there using a single boost system. I I like that. Ah, oh, yeah, totally. So that is how they expected the thing to actually take off, right? <laughs> okay, once it gets up to 70, that's when we uh, cut the power. Okay. Ooh, this is hot! Hot, 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 hot! Okay, next thing... And uh, next thing we're going to do is detach this at the appropriate moment. And actually, I should just, just F5 this here, right? So now, stage. And... Oh, there we go. Bring that up. I'm going to boost this out, like, sort of as a few minutes before it reaches maximum altitude or something. And then we'll switch back to this thing. So we want to switch back to that, hopefully, before we have, before the whole thing dies. Yeah, my passengers are already running around. Did somebody unleash the snakes early? Because that would be totally not cool. Okay, so this has some fuel left on it. And I guess that's cool, because it would still have fuel left when it finished its boost. Okay, let's just fire these engines. Whoa! <laughs> I'm really curious as to what kind of Delta V this thing has. Engineer, uh, vessel. Yeah, it actually has about it has about several hundred meters per second of Delta V, so it could perform an RTLS. Or at least it could have performed an RTLS if we hadn't waited a long time to fire the engines up. But you know, we're we're kinda going this direction. Now the real question is Will this actually be stable with all this mass here? Have I put the end, the wings too far forwards? Because I haven't tested this thing without the rest of the aircraft attached. Actually, we could try returning to that. Maybe that is a more likely plan. Depends on how much energy I can get out of this and whether it will remain stable. I am trying to pitch the nose down and it is not pitching down here. Uh, actually... Okay, that is a problem. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Guess this thing is not stable. So there's basically the problem here is there's too much mass at the back and the wings are too far forward. So we are going to have a hard time getting control of this thing.
still, I'm going to say there's a not inconsiderable chance that this thing... Oh! Yes, I managed to crash it, but first, an Obfin survived! Hey, what about Peggy Whitson, eh? Yeah, proper American badass superhero, yeah. More time in space than any other NASA astronaut. Not quite as good as those Russians, but hey, you know, uh, pretty awesome. Look, everybody, we're in space in a ridiculous orbit. Ah, we're going to be able to handle it, don't worry. The big problem, actually, now I think about it, is that my periaps is on the night side of the planet. Okay. Overshooting now, definitely. This is where I should actually turn the whole thing around and try turning. There. Look. We're just going to do the longest U-turn. <laughs> That's my plan. And now we've turned a whole 45 degrees, which means we're merely in the middle of the ocean. I don't know if there's anything we can reach at this point, traveling at Mach 1, Mach 2. This would be a good time to actually look at the map. Oh, look, okay, let's go for that island. There's an island ahead of me somewhere. Oh, let's turn off the air brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this how the original Planet of the Apes started? I don't... I remember that they had some very terrible special effects. And then they were like, We're on some mysterious planet. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going to have to make contact with the Easter Island indigenous people. Their currency is giant wheels of rock. That's a lot more practical than giant statues of the rock. Because then, don't they have to, like, rename them to Dwayne Johnson and things like that? Okay, 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 okay. Now we're starting to get a little low here. So I think I'm going to go over that way. Because that actually looks like somewhere I might be able to land on that slope. That looks like a hill that I'm heading towards. And this is where I'm going to... Come on, give myself some more authority on this. Yeah, the Easter Bunny Island, on the other hand, their currency is basically little plastic eggs containing candy. Okay, so any minute now, I'm just going to turn this thing upstream. Okay. Okay, now the hard part is slowing this down without crashing. I'm just going to aim it uphill. <laughs> Brilliant! I, I thought that I was surely doomed there because there was no way I could land on this horrible terrain. But, uh, yeah. I think that we're onto something here. Woo!